All right, Riley, thank you. In this week's Saving Main Street, since we doing the, we've been doing these segments for six months now, we have seen many businesses come to the aid of their fellow business owners, even reaching across different industries. We have another example of that this morning. Of course, we've seen signs like this posted in way too many restaurants and bars. Downtown Minneapolis, which was thriving before COVID, looks like a ghost town on many nights. Now with even more restrictions and the colder weather settling in, more restaurants and bars are really on the edge here. Some hope as we head to Eden Prairie this morning for Saving Main Street, a local business. It's been around for 45 years, now has 21 locations. It's reaching out to help in a big way. Mike Fratelloni from Fratelloni's Ace Hardware joins us live this morning. Mike, it's great to see you. Hardware stores in general have uh, benefited, right, from the fact that people are doing more repairs and taking care of their homes during this time? We really have. We've been incredibly fortunate to be in an essential business where we're just open and we're trying to stay as safe as we possibly can and keep our customers safe, our employees safe. And yes, it's been very, very busy in the hardware business. So tell us what you decided to do to help out restaurants in our community, because when I first heard about this, it's sort of, it's sort of a breathtaking commitment. Yeah, it was a little different. What we did is we went out and we bought $100,000 of the gift cards from six different restaurants, Crave, Carboni's, Blue Plate, Restaurant Group, Devani's, Crooked Pint, and Green Mill. And we're going to give those gift cards away. So if you spend $50 at Fratelloni's, we're going to give you a $10 gift card. If you spend $100, $20 gift cards. If you spend $1,000, you'll get $200 worth of gift cards. They're just like regular gift cards to those restaurants. We just wanted to do something for the restaurant community because we know they've been hit so incredibly hard. So we picked locally owned restaurants that have a lot of locations so all of our stores can benefit. That's a pretty significant uh, infusion of money to those restaurant groups too. Yeah, it was it was a big check to write. I'm going to promise you that. And, but we're you know we're partnered with them, and these are restaurants that I've been going to my entire life. Some of them opened in 1975, the same year we opened. So uh, we just want to make sure do our little part to keep these guys around. You know, a lot of them are pizza places or at sushi at at uh, Crave. But you know, pizza places are going to be around. These are really great restaurant tours, and I'm not worried about these guys in the long run. But in the short run, we wanted to do something. Plus, it's a win-win for us because our, our customers come in and get a great deal and maybe spend some money in the hardware stores, too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, very cool. Uh, this time of year, you guys start to see more business with, you know, snowblower repairs. And I, I know I usually drop off my, my lawnmower in, in New Hope at your store to be uh, serviced over the winter. You guys get busy with that sort of stuff? Yeah. We absolutely do. We have the largest small engine service center around, basically in the five state area. And what you talked about is dropping off your lawnmower right now. We keep it all winter long and return it to you in the spring after a tune up. When we do the storage for free, we charge, of course, with a little bit for the tune up. But that is incredibly busy this time of year. Shovels, snow blowers, ice melt, uh, you know, even gas grills are really busy this year. Uh, just people are staying home and they're just investing into their home and fun times at home, not just work. Anything surprise you about a category that maybe you saw a burst of purchase and activity that you didn't expect? Um, you know what's really, really strange is we're selling a ton of toilet plumbing. And I thought to myself, is it just because people are using their toilets more or did they not have a working toilet before the pandemic? So it is a little weird bit that uh, <laughs> toilet plumbing and toilet repairs is way up, almost the number one increase in all the stores. Well, if you think about it, I mean, we're spending a lot more time at home eating our own cooking. Maybe that's the problem. Yeah, if you're using it 10 times a day instead of one, well, yeah. some math, but people right. are just using it more at home, I guess. Yeah, it makes sense instead of being at the office or whatever. Well, this all starts tomorrow. I think we ended this conversation on, on, a, on a strange note, and I apologize for that. But, you know, everybody's got to <laughs> fix their toilet. What can I tell you? But tomorrow is when people can start getting these gift cards, right? That's right. It starts tomorrow and goes till they run out. It probably goes through the weekend for sure. If okay. you want to buy something big, you can do it. You'll get a bunch of gift cards. If you want to buy something small, you can do it. Thank you so much for having me, and we'll see you too when you drop off your lawnmower. Very good. Mike Fratelloni, thank you.